Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to be making a pom-pom garland. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to kind of do it a little bit backwards though, because I already made this one. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I did it. And I did it just watching TV uh, last night. Just put it on Netflix and let it go and just kind of worked away at it. So I'll show you how I did that. But uh, first, I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate it. We're kind of going to go a little backwards. <laughs> so these are just little cute little pom-poms that I did. And I, I did it on my fingers, my three fingers. And I wrapped it around 60 times. And I'm going to show you all that. But I want to show you how I was going to decorate it. It's not going to stay like this. Um, I made some little heart cutouts with the ribbon that I got from Michael's. Um, I thought it was really cute with the lace on it and I like the burlap. So I decided to go ahead and cut these out and so that I can add them to this, this little um, garland. I thought it would make it very dainty and sweet and, and for Valentine's or any time really. You could just have it draped over a nice picture of the family with the hearts on there and stuff. So it really can be any time. Um, to do this. That's why I did it in white so that you could have it maybe for Christmas if you wanted to. Um, but it was fun. It was easy. And I like easy, simple projects that I can work on that just add a little bit to my decor. So I'm going to show you how I cut these cute little hearts out. And it's pretty simple. So my ribbon is upside down. And I just go around, try to keep my hands out of the picture here. There we go. I'm going to cut that across so I can cut it out. So basically, I'm making two sides. and bam and so then so this is what we have so we're going to do is take the two inside pieces and put them facing each other and that's what our little heart's going to look like and we're going to i'll show you how i glue that together and then put a little stuffing in there so that's how i do that so before we move on, I want to let you guys know that this video is done for a challenge put out by Heidi Sambles DIY, Valentine's DIY Challenge. The link to her channel and the playlist for all the channels that have participated in this challenge will be in the description below. So here I'm gluing the two backside pieces together. I'm gluing all the way around except for one little section so that I can have a little pocket to put the stuffing in so that I can make the heart puff out just a little bit. So this is the end cuttings of my pom-poms. I decided because it was nice and fluffy and soft that I would use this to stuff my little hearts. I thought it would be the perfect stuffing instead of digging out my bag of polyfill. I could use this. It works just as good. Once it's filled, I'm going to take my hot glue and finish sealing off the rest of the heart so that the stuffing doesn't come out. Trim off anything that's sticking out and my little heart's finished. So I decided to make some baby twine bows, just little guys to go on the tops of my hearts. So I made two of those. And then I also made two more to go on my tassels. They got little longer tails on them. Kind of to tie the whole thing together. Uh, bring a little bit of the, the brown from my twine into my, my uh, tassels. I'm gluing a piece of yarn to the back of the heart so that I can glue it on to my garland. I'm 
These look so dainty and cute. So like I said, we're going backwards on this. So this next clip that comes up is going to be me showing you how I braid my garland. I cut three pieces the same length, or roughly the same length, and I tied it to the little knob on the chair. Made a little knot in the top, and I knotted them all together. There I'm making the knot. And I just set it on there for stability so that I can pull it just a little bit, make it kind of tight, not real tight, but kind of tight. So basically braiding is you just take the each outside piece one at a time and go over your middle, and when you go over the middle that becomes the middle, and you just go opposite back and forth. And then here I finished to how long I want it, so I'm making a knot at the end so it doesn't unravel on me. So that's all done. Here I'm showing you the tassels. Um, that had three strings, of course, so it's got three, and I wanted to make more tassels. You can make as many as you want. Make it as full as you want. This I only did, oh, I think six six pieces, um, or I did four pieces, I guess, and then uh, I folded it over, and then I just wrapped a piece of yarn around it, I tied it on, and then I just wrapped it going up so that it would kind of cover that up. Put a little bead of glue on it to kind of hold it. So I got all the way to where I wanted to stop and then I glued it again to hold it and then cut it off and that makes that finished off for you for your tassels and like I said you can have as many tassels as you want I just I didn't want a whole bunch I'm trying to keep it dainty and small so I just did a few so there, there's my tassels. So here I'm showing you, I'm using three fingers to make my pom-poms. I take the end and put it between my ring finger and my middle finger, just to hold it. And then I start wrapping. Um, I keep my fingers loose, leave a little bit of space in between so that I can open and close them and pull that off when I'm ready. So basically I wrapped this around, I think it was 60 times. You could do more, you could do less, it all depends on how big you want your pom-pom to be. So you slide it off your fingers and then you take a piece of twine or yarn and you tie it, put a nice knot on both sides. And you take your scissors and go up around the loops and cut them. Cut them right down the middle, all the way around, trim it right up, and that makes your little pom-pom open right up. And then I fluff it and I try and straighten out all the little pieces of yarn. You're never going to get them all straight, but you try your best. And I flatten it out and I start trimming, give them a little haircut. Just trim around, and then every once in a while stop and kind of fluff it flip it around, straighten out those pieces that want to curl on you. And then I fluff it out and I look at it, check it, and usually have to trim again. And it's all in preference on how much you want to do, how much you want to trim. Okay guys, so there's my pom-pom. You're gonna keep finding ones that are too long here and there. But I realized uh, while I was doing this that I forgot to make the string long enough to have a tail. And what I do when I flatten it down is I take the tail and put it in my hand here and I flatten it down before I start cutting. And then I trim 
and I keep trimming around. And then, you know, as I turn, I just keep it in my hand so that I don't lose it and cut it off. Um, I didn't cut it off. What I what happened was I um, didn't make it long enough to stick out, but I wanted it long enough to stick out so I can tie it to my braid tail. Um, so I just took this one and tucked it in underneath the one that I tied. I just used the end of my scissor and just stuck it under there and tied it. But then once I get all done trimming it, I just give it a fluff. And I just fluff it up. Now this is a loose pom-pom. You can do tighter ones. I have arthritis, so my hands can't handle um, anything too tight on there and trying to, you know, I had a hard enough time tying knots. It's really hard sometimes. So I just like to keep it light and um, not too tight so that I can get it off my hands. But I don't mind it being a little bit loose. And so I just fluff it out and then I just go along and just keep trimming wherever you see long ones or it depends on how close you want it. I mean, you don't want it too close, obviously, but you just keep keep doing that and it fluffs up to a cute little pom-pom. And then I still have my tails down here so that I can tie it onto my braid, which is over here. And then this one, you know, and then I just try and once I get the other two done, I eyeball where I want it to go. This, I don't really measure anything. I just want it a little bit away from the edge of my tail, my tassel that I made. And so there's my tassel and my end that I made. And so I'll probably put, put it like somewhere in here and tie it on. And then on here, I'll do one in the middle and then another one about the same. And then I can make my little hearts to go in here and it'll look like the one I showed you in the beginning. But that's how I do that. I've got two more pom-poms to do and two hearts and then it'll be finished. Mm -hmm.